Luki's team is having so much fun. I actually think this game's kind of fun. It's just really hard. It'd be more enjoyable if Storm was focusing on trying to win the game rather than bitching. I want you guys to take this as a lesson because I don't really feel like lecturing this Storm. Ask yourself, is what you're saying helping your team win the game? If the answer is no, then just shut the fuck up. Like, nothing he's saying is, like, actually helping. It's just whining about a good or bad situation. Like, uh, that's all he's doing. He's just commenting on the game. It doesn't, like, help. When I say there's two heroes bottom, kill these guys mid. That's, like, the only thing I've said to my team in the last, like, fucking ten minutes. BSJ, you're playing atrociously. You should whine. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't care how good or bad I'm playing. What he's saying objectively doesn't help our, us win. It's pretty easy to ask yourself that question. Does this help my team win the game by saying this? My game is fucking hard. My game got ruined early game. I had a really hard time recovering against heroes that kill me. We didn't really build to help me recover at all, which is fine. That's life. I've accepted that. Probably died two or three extra times than I should have. And here we are. There's really nothing else to say here. Like, why do people hate playing games like this so much? Like, why don't they enjoy playing a tough game? Banana slam giant. Somebody asked how to play Dota objectively. The funny thing about that last game was I think the only difference between that game and other games, and I think it's because I took a break, is like I'm just viewing the game objectively rather than viewing the game through like tilt or whatever. Like even this Monkey King game, I had a really rough start, but I didn't even realize how many deaths I had. I didn't even look. And we still got to play the game. I was still trying my best to win the game. And at all stages, all I had to assess was like, is this game hard? For whatever reason, people like this Storm, they're in a game that's hard, and their response is emotional. Like, I used to be this way too, I really did. And sometimes I still uh, revert back to this mindset. But rather than focusing on how it feels, focus on what to do about it. Like, that's really all there is to it. Like, this game was really hard, and I was just like, what do I have to do next? You want to know, like, how to be more consistent in Dota? Your skill doesn't drastically change. Like, you're not drastically mechanically better one day or the other. But, like, your emotional um, balance and mindset going into the day, going into the specific game, that's what changes. So I felt really good today. Like, I just played two games and felt like I objectively approached both of them. Had a couple really hard parts. Carried the living shit out of this game. Even though I had a buff, I, I got camped by three heroes. It's like, in this game, at 12 minutes in, I had no Yules, and my carry had like a 17 minute battle fury, and uh, had been on like a mega kill, but I understand he was probably having a tough time CSing in lane, because he's against Nature's Prophet, and a melee hero who can like, threaten him, and then I can also tell that if he's busy killing people on PA, he's probably not farming as much as he'd like to. I feel like on a bad day, or a day like six months ago, I'd be like, what the fuck? I'm getting camped by three heroes and my PA has a 17 minute battle fury even though she has five kills. What the fuck? But like, that just doesn't do anything. And it's like, it's just how it is. Rather than doing that, just be like, okay, what can I do here? I need this Yules. Okay, we have a chance to fight them here. Oh, shit, what do I go next? I think I need a blink so I can like be mobile around the map. Oh, I think I need to farm top because if they're here, at least my team's getting space. And if I die, so what? Okay, I got my blink. Okay, I can look for plays on Nature's Prophet. Oh, I pop my ulti top. I don't really have something better to do with it. Kill the Nature's Prophet. Get another kill off of it. Get a bounty rune. Uh, I guess I'm against Clock, Ursa, Monkey King, Nature's Prophet. I guess I'll just go four staff. Suddenly I'm a mid DP with blink, four staff, and a Yules. But it owns, right? I don't know. Uh, nope. Like, I, I ask myself, like, how I get to these items. And it's like, in the past, I'd have to, like, calculate what items I'd go. I was just winging it as I went along. I was just like, hmm. Well, I feel like if I get caught by clock and I don't have a blink, I just kind of die to, like, the follow-up. You know, I'll get I'll get hooked, four staff out, then just get blinked on by an Ursa. So I think for the time being, I have to, like, be able to split push and pick and choose my fights. And then I can buy a four staff afterwards. 
because I'll be better positioned in fights because of the Blink Dagger. And then I could go BKB, but then I kind of just die to Ursa if I ever get caught, so I'll go Shiva's. I'm like, okay, now that I have a Shiva's, I don't just straight up die to Ursa. Everyone else gets addressed by going BKB. I don't know, that game just felt very pure. I wish I could play like that, not like uh, mechanically or owning people or whatever, but even like the Monkey King game, I just wish I could think like that every single game. That's what I'm like aiming for. Like the Monkey King game, I really wasn't tilted at all. The game was just hard. I didn't play very well, but the game was just hard. But I think it's more impressive that I, I don't tilt during the Monkey King game than it was during that Death Prophet game. Like when I say impressive, it's not like uh, bragging. It's like me proud of myself that I'm like being level-headed in games that are not easy i'm chilling for a bit i'll probably queue in like 10 minutes five minutes sometimes you can't have that mentality sometimes you just get a first pick pa troll or a meteor hammer mars with position five techies see like i'll tell you i'll tell you this much you 100 percent don't understand the mindset if that's your response because none of that shit just- none of that shit matters. The game's hard, maybe you can't do anything to win the game, but there's absolutely something you can do at any given moment. Whether or not that's cheeky split pushing, whether or not that's like adjusting your item build, whether or not that's like farming more dangerously such that if you die, you die. Like, you literally just said exactly the opposite of the mentality. Like, you're just wrong. Like, yes, I'm not gonna always have the mentality, I'm, all, I'm gonna try my best to do it more and more. But the mentality has absolutely nothing to do with what other people are doing. It's all about your own control of the situation. So unless you give an excuse that comes from the control of the situation that you have, rather than anything your teammates do, you just don't understand. And that's okay. I think it's really hard to understand. I, d I still don't fully understand. But, you know, you're just whining and it doesn't do anything. You have a position 5 techies. That means you can't do anything aggressive for like the first 20 minutes of the game. Play accordingly. That's what it means to you. If they have an Alk Medusa and you can't stop them from farming, well that fucking sucks. But that's life. If they're free farming an Alk, what can you do to try to make it to the 50 minute mark where he's not so strong anymore? Because that's where you're going. Some games you're not going to win. That's life. Rather than thinking what's happening, think about how it affects you in terms of what you can do in the game. It's hard to be level-headed? I mean, of course. I did it for eight years where I wasn't level-headed, and I still struggle to be level-headed. At no point have I said this is easy. I think it's incredibly difficult. A lot of people think I've been, like, really down on myself the last, like, two or three months. It's because I'm, like, struggling to change a mentality that I've had for literally seven or eight years now. I'm trying, like, really fucking hard to fix it. And it's exhausting. Like, it really is just exhausting to change your mindset on something that's been so well established, so ingrained in your mind. The worst thing you can do is just make excuses for why you tilt. It's important to, like, acknowledge why you tilted and try to think about how you can do better in the future. But the last thing you want to do is be like, but I should tilt when I have a position five techies. Like, no, that's, that's just wrong. That's literally just wrong.